There are many occasions when doing leathercraft projects where there is a need for basket stamping to be in a circle or on a curve. In this program, we will reveal a few techniques to help you with this chore. For our first project, I would like to do a, a round basket stamping with the straight line method going around the outside of this circle. Uh, to do that, I first made a, a sample of uh, what I plan to do. I will first need to uh, put some guidelines on our circle and I'm going to take the sample that I did to give us a guide. I'll have first the outside border, the inside border, and then there's another border that we'll need to do because it is going to be something that will need to be beveled on the inside as well. And we'll also put a guideline down the middle. With my sample as a guideline, I will now set up first to uh, grab the outside border uh, by setting my wing divider on my sample. And now I will just go around the outside of my circle putting the outside border on. Next I will open up my wing dividers to go from the outside to the next inside line. Now I can just put that one on. Now I will do the, the other two lines the same way using my sample as a guide. Next, I will use my swivel knife and carefully cut these borders. I'll do the outside one first. Actually, it makes no difference which one you do first. And then, of course, I would do this one, the inside border. And then I would do the far inside one, which will be the one that will separate our band of basket stamping from the main project. The one in the middle, I will not cut. Do not cut the one in the middle. Before we actually start stamping, I want to point out a few things for you. Uh, when we're going to stamp in the circle, uh, the choice of tool is important. Uh, number one, it has to have legs that are not necessarily as long as this one, but longer than this one. Uh, this one would not work at all because the legs are too short. This one would work fine because the legs are just right. This one, the legs are too long to go in a circle. Now you might look at this small one and say, well, that one won't work. Well, it will because even though the legs are small, the tool is small, so the relative length of the legs is in proportion to the size of the tool. For this first project, I want to use the, this particular uh, stamp here. It's a medium-sized stamp and it has legs that are just the right size. So we'll start by placing it on the line as you see. Now I will overlap. Normally I would tell you to overlap all the way in to the, where the center bar goes across. In this case, don't go quite that far. You'll see why in a little while. So we'll go part of the way and make our impression. Notice that I like to hit the, the tool uh, several times, leaning it left right to get a good sharp impression. Now we will do this all the way around. As we come full circle to where we started we need to do a little planning. I will take my tool and make some marks with it to uh, see how it's going to come out. And it looks like we're going to be a little short. So normally, 
rather than halfway. We'll go a little more than halfway now. And we will sort of stretch these out. I'll do a couple and then I will double check. I'm going to have to stretch it a little more. And finally, it'll be a stretch, but we can make it. Now we can start doing a few more rows. We will now do the outside row. Now you'll notice that the legs on this tool just barely make it. Now, had we not adjusted by going only halfway or a little more than half when we did our first rows, then we would have difficulty filling the span with this tool. Notice also that I am leaning the tool toward the center slightly so that I don't accidentally make any marks on my border. Doing the inside row now is much the same. We need to lean it a little bit so that we don't uh, stamp on our border. This is uh, what I planned to do when we started. Now, you will notice that the tool fits in here quite nicely. That's again because of the spacing we did when we put in the first rows. Everything works out fine now. Next, we will use a large beveler and we will bevel on the inside of this outside line. And we will bevel the inside border as well. And depending on what we're going to do with the inside, we would also bevel on the inside of this inner border. And to finish this off, I'm using a uh, one of my favorite border stamps. And we'll do this around the inside and the outside border. And here is our circle straight basket stamping, all ready to continue with our project. Based on the sample that I made here, I have already uh, cut my lines for my borders and I also have the guideline in the middle where I will start my stamping. To put this on at an angle, I will start my stamping by putting my tool on the line as you see with the line going through from corner to corner. Now I will continue overlapping part way and going to the point on the other end. And we will do this all the way around just as we did with the other one. When we come around to the place where we started, we need to do a little planning. And uh, I will do that by making some light marks. Uh, this is gonna be a little tight, so what I'll have to do is crowd these last few. And I think we're going to come out okay. Yes, we'll now continue with the other rows. It's just a matter of starting as you see me here. And I'm 
leaning the tool a little bit to make sure I do not stamp on my border over here. So now we'll go all the way around like this. As we come around here, it's no problem because everything was right to start with, so it will come out right just now. Now we can start on our outer row. We'll do it the same way. Just like we did on the inner row, as we come around, we'll find that uh, everything will come out just right. We're now ready to do our beveling. And now we will uh, put a border stamp on here, just as we did on the other one. And here we have our finished piece with the uh, basket stamp going in a circle at an angle. Well, as you have seen, you can have a lot of fun with uh, going in a circle with your basket stamps. Hopefully for you, this is only the beginning. Use your imagination and there's no limit to what you can do with your basket stamps. <laughs>